Hello there, just a quick update. Bethesda recently did a large update of Skyrim to roll out their new creations subsystem. A lot of YouTubers have focused on the new paid mods. Of course, Creation Club was already paid, so whatever. But also they're gonna raise the price of the points. So you should buy them now if you're going to ever buy them. I've been saying it a while, you should stay on 1.5. That's what I do. Of course, if you don't wanna do that, turn Steam auto updates off. If you haven't opened Steam since the update, try not to open it. But if you open it and it still auto updates, even if you have auto update off, believe me, I've seen it, pause the download and just never let it finish. That is until all mods get a proper update. If you had auto update on and you had the latest version, your mod list is most likely broken right now. But I do have good news for you. The downgrade patcher now allows you to downgrade to 1.6.6.640 as well as 1.5.974. So if you accidentally updated, you now have a recourse. I don't know if they're gonna do this again, but it pays to be prepared. One positive is that when they release a new CC, Skyrim.exe will not need to be completely updated. So you could be safe from now on. Here's what I actually wanna talk about. The other changes from the update. This affects people who are a bit deeper into mods than the casual user. Biggest thing being, it changes ESLs to work more like Fallout 4. You can now have records in the 4,000 slots rather than 2,000, and it be able to be ESLified. This could be really bad for people on 1.5 if new mod authors start making new mods that use those slots and ESLs just don't work on Skyrim SE. In fact, it'll probably crash your game if you try to use them on SE or VR. Other problems. The plugin version got updated to 1.7.1. .1. Any new plugins made in this style will crash anything but the newest version of the game. So far, SKSE works, address library is partially working, Power3 is still testing some DLLs, some are reportedly broken. SSE engine fixes may cause your load order to load wrong via plugins.txt. The current workaround is disable enable achievement with mods. More to come. There are some new Papyrus functions. I'm not a skilled modder, so I don't have the details. What I've heard is it's not world changing. The creation kit is also getting a big update with additional tools for voicing and the ability to keep track of changes. So anything made with the new creation kit update will not work with the old version of Skyrim. And a lot of the old CC got updates and fixes. Uh, one note from me, a lot of this seems to me to be a way to indirectly stop all the hold developers from Skyrim SE 1.5. We'll see how this all pans out. In my opinion, if all of your users are on the same version, it's way easier to sell things to them. And that's all I've got for today. Subscribe for more technical bits that nobody wants to talk about. Okay, bye.